Some decisions have no easy answers. The sun is coming up in eight minutes. If you live to see it, the world will end. Maybe that's the way it should be. Welcome to WatchMojo.com, and today we're counting down our picks for the top 10 hardest decisions in movies. It's oh! one down three, Peter. You understand Don't, what I'm saying? Just think don't about make it. Him do this. All right, she's gonna kill don't your sister. Make him do this. And he's gonna die if you don't do this. Now cut the rope. No, I won't do it. Just cut the rope. For this list, we're taking a look at impossible choices characters have had to make in movies. Seeing as how these decisions are all pivotal plot points, a spoiler alert is definitely in order. David, if you kill him, he will win. Number 10, all of the choices, the Saw franchise. Live or die, make your choice. Although the Saw movies rely heavily on graphic imagery, each film also possesses a certain degree of psychological horror. The Jigsaw Killer constructs appalling games that have no true winners. There are ways to win this, hidden all around you. In the first film, two men find themselves chained up in an unknown location, pitted against each other. Just one of them can leave this bathroom alive. Even then, the only means of escape is foot amputation. He doesn't want us to cut through our chains. The games only get more sadistic as the series goes on, especially in the sixth film, where a man must decide which of his colleagues will die and who will get to live to play another game. Only one can exit this room, and the choice of whom falls upon you. No matter what game Jigsaw is playing, we wouldn't want to be in any of his victim's shoes. That we know for sure. He had no choice! He always had a choice! Number nine, mortal or immortal? Hercules. Fire <laughs> work, my boy. You've done this. A god turned mortal, Hercules aspires to reunite with his parents on Mount Olympus. Before reclaiming his godhood, though, Herc must go the distance. People always do crazy things when they're in love. By making the ultimate sacrifice in the name of love, Wonder Boy finally earns his immortality and is welcomed home. However, returning to Mount Olympus would mean leaving his life on Earth behind for eternity. Father, this is the moment I've always dreamed of. Although he's literally been to hell and back to achieve his dream, Herc discovers that his place isn't with the gods, but with the love of his life. I wish to stay on Earth with her. I finally know where I belong. <laughs> Mortal or immortal, there's no denying that Hercules is a true hero. Number 8. Light Side or Dark Side? Star Wars Episode 6 Return of the Jedi. Now, young Skywalker, you will die. Sometimes people dig themselves in so deep that they reach the point of no return. When Anakin Skywalker sides with Palpatine in order to save Padme, he surrenders to the dark side and becomes Darth Vader. I have the power to save the one you love. You must choose. The misguided Jedi thus loses his humanity, killing younglings, blowing up planets, and chopping off his own son's hand. <laughs> Regardless, Luke still believes that there's hope for his father. When Luke is at the Emperor's mercy, Vader is left with two options, save his boy or remain loyal to the dark side after years of dedicated service. In the end, Vader sees the light and finds redemption. Hey, it's never too late to make amends. Luke, help me take this mask off. Number 7. East Coast or West Coast? Superman. All those things I can do, all those powers, and I couldn't even save him. In the original Superman, Lex Luthor launches a nuclear missile to destroy the west coast of the United States. Just to make sure his arch nemesis doesn't get in the way, the criminal mastermind sends another warhead to the east coast. Even care where the other missile's headed, do you? Certainly I do. 
I know exactly where he's headed. Hackensack, New Jersey. Superman chooses to stop the missile headed for New Jersey first. While he makes it to San Andreas to save a few lives, it's too late for Lois Lane. Although Superman is forbidden from interfering with human history, he decides to save the woman he loves by reversing time. Who knew he could do that? Granted, this is a total cop-out in terms of storytelling and makes little sense, but our hero is still presented with a genuine ethical dilemma. The problem with Men of Steel, there's never one around when you want one. You know what happened to me while you were off flying around? Number 6. Rachel Dawes or Harvey Dent, The Dark Knight so You're gonna have to play my little game if you want to save one of them. Where Superman can just rewind time, Batman must live with the consequences of his actions. The Joker pushes Batman to his limits when he kidnaps two of Gotham's finest and plans to blow them up in separate locations. I'm in a warehouse. They got me wired to these oil drums. I am too. The Dark Knight chooses to rescue Rachel, and the police race to save Harvey. Since the Joker isn't exactly known for his honesty, it shouldn't come as a surprise that he reversed the addresses. Batman ends up saving Harvey, while the cops can't reach Rachel in time. No! No! No, not me! Why are you coming for me? The Joker's chaos continues to spread like wildfire when he rigs two ferries with explosives and makes the passengers decide which one goes boom. Each of you has a remote. Blow off the other boat. He certainly knows how to split people down the middle. It's all right, listen. Some... Number 5. Mary Jane or the Children Spider-Man This is why only fools are heroes. Because you never know when some lunatic will come along with the sadistic choice. If you haven't noticed, being a superhero sucks sometimes. In Sam Raimi's 2002 blockbuster, the Green Goblin shows Spider-Man the cost of being a hero by confronting him with a dastardly choice. Let die the woman you love? Or suffer the little children? Clutching the woman Peter Parker loves in one hand and a tram car filled with children in another, the villain forces our hero to decide who will live and who will fall to their doom. Don't do it, Goblin! We are who we choose to be. Now choose! No! Through some slick web-slinging, though, he manages to catch Mary Jane and grab onto the cable car, too. Gobby attempts to intervene, but the people of New York actually come to Spidey's aid for a change. While Spider-Man avoids making an impossible choice, he still must answer to his green nemesis. It's time to die! Number 4. Life or Death, Harry Potter and the Deathly Hallows Part 2 I thought he would come. In order for Harry Potter to become the boy who lived, his parents had to lose their own lives to Voldemort. During Harry's first year at Hogwarts, the Dark Lord offers him the chance to resurrect his mom and dad in exchange for the Philosopher's Stone. Tell me, Harry, would you like to see your mother and father again? Harry sees right through his deceit, however, and avoids temptation. You liar! Harry is faced with an even more challenging dilemma several years later, upon realizing Voldemort can only be killed if he sacrifices himself. The boy who lived... come to die. Knowing that the wizarding world will be doomed otherwise, Harry nobly surrenders. Our hearts all sank when Voldemort chanted Avada Kedavra, but this was all fortunately part of Dumbledore's grand plan. A part of him lives within me, doesn't it? Did. It was just destroyed many moments ago by none other than Voldemort himself. Number 3. Nemo or Dory? Finding Nemo. In an act of rebellion, Clownfish Nemo swims into open water and is taken by divers. On a daring voyage to find his lost son, Marlin gains a loyal friend in the forgetful Dory. A boat? Hey, I've seen a boat! You have? Uh-huh, and it passed by not too long ago. A white one? Hi, I'm Dory. Where? Which way? Oh. 
Happily, Marlin is eventually reunited with Nemo, but Dory is caught in a fishing net seconds later. Nemo quickly thinks of a plan to rescue her, but Marlin is unwilling to risk losing his son again. We have to tell all the fish to swim down together! Get out of there now! I know this will work! The overprotective father comes to realize, however, that Nemo isn't a little boy anymore. Charging into the net, Nemo shows his fellow fish that all they need to do is just keep swimming. Just keep swimming! Marlin ultimately learns that letting go isn't easy, but it's an essential part of being a parent. Number 2. Red Pill or Blue Pill? The Matrix. Do you want to know what it is? Neo must make numerous difficult choices throughout the Matrix trilogy, including when the architect gives him the option of saving Trinity or Zion. Yet the most crucial decision Neo makes is whether or not to learn about the Matrix in the first place. It is the world that has been pulled over your eyes to blind you from the truth. What truth? Through clever symbolism, Morpheus gives Neo two selections. He can either take the blue pill and keep living in a false reality, or take the red pill and venture further down the rabbit hole. Take the blue pill. The story ends. You wake up in your bed and believe whatever you want to believe. You take the red pill. You stay in Wonderland. And I show you how deep the rabbit hole goes. Although he doesn't regret facing the truth, Others would argue that ignorance is bliss. If we found out the real world was overrun with machines, the blue pill honestly would have been tempting. Follow me. Before we unveil our number one pick, here are some honorable mentions. Mom! Poorly. If that plane leaves the ground and you're not with him, you'll regret it. Maybe not today, maybe not tomorrow, but soon and for the rest of your life. But what about us? We'll always have Paris. You gotta take a side. You molest a child. You beat a child. You're not on my side. Sean. If the professor calls about that job, just tell him, sorry. I had to go see about a girl. <laughs> Number one, Jan or Eva? Sophie's choice. Du kannst eins von den Kindern behalten. Wie bitte? This scene is simply every parent's worst nightmare. In a flashback, it's revealed that Sophie was sent to Auschwitz with her son, Jan, and daughter, Eva. A Nazi informs her that one of her children can go work in a labor camp, and the other will be murdered. Wollen Sie mir sagen, dass ich wählen muss? Ist ein Polak und kein Jude. Also, hast ein gewisses Vorrecht. As if that's not cruel enough, Sophie must decide which one will live and which will die. Devastated beyond belief, the mother decides to save Jan, believing he'll have a better shot at survival than Eva. What makes this even more tragic is that we never learn the fate of Sophie's son. As any loving mother or father can imagine, this decision haunts our titular character until her dying day. When the train arrived at Auschwitz, the Germans made the selection. Do you agree with our list? This certainly is the cup of the King of Kings. What do you think is the hardest decision in movies? Just for once, let me. Look on you with my own eyes. For more entertaining top tens published every day, be sure to subscribe to WatchMojo.com. There's 
looking at you, kid.